Hello YouTubers, I'm back and this time I have my Midori. I wanted to show you guys my setup and just a quick walkthrough of what's in here. Not so much a flip through of the pages. <laughs> so I did uh, kind of fell behind my Midori uh, smashing or journaling. Um, I stopped participating on the 365 list and I stopped participating on the Documented Life uh, project. So I kind of run out of prompts, I guess, into doing my journaling. And that was not good because um, just this weekend I went over my notebooks from January and um, the beginning of 2014. And I had so much fun with these notebooks and just walking through them, flipping, flipping, flipping through them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's it's just a lot of fun to like, like just look at this. You know, it's this brings me so much happiness, and um, I love it. And I want to get back into doing um, this type of journaling, smashing, and whatnot. Um, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, I'm going to stop saying that and let's move on into my Midori. I do have another notebook that I take out um, and switch them up with the notebook I have in here, just depending on my mood. Here is my Midori. This is the regular size Midori. Um, it was a gift, and I love it so much. It's my f favorite thing. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, like I said, I need to get back into using the journaling part. So this is insert is the one I made following a uh, pocket full of change. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Pocket full of vintage. Yeah, I I was just doing laundry, so my pockets are kind of empty right now. Uh, <laughs> this um, tutorial she posted is really awesome. Um, if you're not subscribed to Marianne, I will leave the link to her channel below so you guys can check it out. I just added some stickers and washi tape. And what I used, if you're curious, is a 12 by 12 cardstock, um, but it was a bit short for the extra pockets. But it doesn't matter because these are the main pockets I like in here. Just keep some cute stuff, a note from the hubby, just one postcard that says so awesome, and some notepad pages. Same thing in the back. Um, this was the thing that... It was um, mitts filled out uh, when she sent me some mail, so I've kept that there since then. And this was um, with the the information that came with my Midori, so I just kept that there as well. And and here is uh, the 2014 diary, and I just have one of these clips holding the months that have passed. And right now I'm going to decorate next month to get ready for that. And just some pages with some journaling. In the back I posted, a, I taped a picture of the hubby and I. This is one of the stickers that came with my planner. Then in here I have another insert that I made just by using a cover um, for a it's a binder size and I just um, cut it to size use some washi tape to decorate it and then I use it as a pocket for extra notepad pages that are very similar size to the actual inserts so I really like to use these and then some stickers that I've been hoarding for a long time that Maria Payless Blue sent in Iraq this is my other insert and it's the insert I use to kind of journal and smash um, my memorabilia 
and also do some of the challenges that Florence has posted um, and some of the things that I've shared myself whenever um, I've had a prompt or whatever I completed it there here I have another insert that I made myself just by using some masking tape I put together a personal size zipper pouch and credit card pouch and I just hold it behind my third notebook and this is my bullet journal notebook and here I have just some cute things as well as some sticky notes in the front for whenever I want to use them and just some stamps and cute things that Florence sent me in a rack a picture an old movie sticky um, <laughs> old movie ticket stubs here is the cover for my other insert and the back looks like that so and here I have my bullet journal and I just keep a tab uh, right here so I can have easy access and start taking my notes when necessary and the back I keep the bullet as well so I can keep it out while I am writing on my notebook and I keep this little zip block with some journaling cards I don't know if you guys can see there's some journaling cards behind and then there's some more journaling cards over here I keep some notepad pages that I can easily take out and give to a person if I need to share a number or an email address or something because I don't have business cards that are reasoned <laughs> and um, some sticky notes the hubs and I went to Palm Springs and I have that here uh, and that's it guys that is the walkthrough of my Midori I really like it this is my other notebook that I sometimes use to do some journaling. Show you guys. And some a little bit of mixed medium. I really like this one too. So sometimes I just take this notebook out. I take this one out and I put this one in there. Okay guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and this will be part 3 of my 2014 wrap up and just a little update on all the planners I've had for the year and as well as my notebooks and journaling planners. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!